Hey everyone, how's it going? So, if you're looking to possibly remove your turn signal lenses or turn signal housings, I can show you an easy way to do it. The reason I'm doing mine is because I want to restore them. Obviously, being in the front of the vehicle, they take quite a beating. They're pretty scratched up. And you have several options to actually restore the lenses. Now, I have another video on restoring the headlamps using toothpaste and I'm going to be doing the same thing with this with the turn signals so it's actually a quick and easy process now what you're looking at is the inside of my front fascia I already have it off but that's not required what you can do is you can remove your headlamp assembly which is right about in this area here and then you can just reach down and you can um, unscrew the uh, bolts that are actually holding the uh, housing in place. That's actually the the easiest way to do it. And obviously you have a, uh, a bulb that's going to be in here. I have aftermarket LEDs. Uh, but again, my face is out, so there's no wiring or anything. But it's really easy to do. Once you get your uh, headlamp assembly out, just take the uh, bulb, twist it counterclockwise, pull it out, set it down, and then you can get to the actual housing. Now, this bolt here that's at the bottom here is just a little bit more difficult to get to, but you should be able to get to it without too much of a problem. It's just harder to see, but you can come in through the top and you don't have to come in through the bottom. So you've got seven millimeter bolts or screws. They're holding this in place. There's three of them in total and uh, they're pretty easy to get out. Obviously doesn't really require too much effort. So I'll go ahead and get, all three of those out. Alright, so all three of these have been removed. There's actually one that's got a large washer on the end of it, um, and then two that do not. I don't think it matters which way they go. Actually, it does. Uh, so looking at this, you can see that there's actually two different ends to this right here. So the bottom one, I mean, th there's a possibility. This fascia is new. Because I hit a deer and they had to replace it. There's a possibility that they may have had to use different screws or bolts. Um, but they should still be 7 millimeters. So with that out, um, basically you slide to the left just a little bit. Because this has got a little bit of a hook in it. And here we go. Here's the uh, turn signal housing. That's what it looks like. When it's out. And you can see how scratched up it is um, and again it's because it faces the elements head-on so obviously it's gonna get some scratches but we're gonna try to take out a lot of the scratches here and I'm gonna show you how and at the same time a good idea to clean all of this get rid of this rust make sure these clips are okay here which they seem to be but I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up anyway and uh, so yeah let's go ahead and get started with the restoration Alrighty, so here's the housing right here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some paper towel that I uh, wet down a little bit. And I'm just going to clean the lens off first. Just to kind of get some of the dirt off of it. I'm honestly not too worried about any of the dirt that's on the back side. I mean, it's plastic. It's not like it's going to hurt it any. It's not like it's going to affect their performance, but I'm still going to give it a quick, kind of a quick wipe down. You know, not really, as I said, not really too concerned. Just want to get the dirt, basically, any of the big dirt chunks that might be on a lens or, or whatever you're not you know something that's got over 150,000 miles on it you're not going to make it look brand new and they have kits and someone out there that will help you restore you can even use a buffing wheel and, and things like that um, I'm not going to go that far honestly I don't need to so now I'm just going to dry it off alright so that's probably about as clean as it's going to get and then I've got a washcloth here. This is just a regular old washcloth. I got these at a discount store for just a couple of bucks. I got eight of them. 
So I've got the washcloths here, and then I have some toothpaste. I spent a dollar on this toothpaste. This isn't the toothpaste that I usually use, but that doesn't matter. Basically, toothpaste, it's an abrasive and it's a polish. So you can spend $40 on a lens restore kit. You know, they make them from anywhere between $10 and $40. Um, and, you know, if you don't have the equipment, you don't have the wheel or anything else like that, and you don't have the time to, to you know, buff all this out, you can just use a washcloth and then some toothpaste. Believe it or not, it actually does work. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, just basically take some of your toothpaste. You don't need a whole lot. And just kind of, I like to make a, like a small circle in the middle, almost. Just like that. And uh, then you just take your, uh, your washcloth and you just kind of work it in in a circular motion. Um, you don't want to go up and down or make anything like that because what it's going to do is it's going to streak. Um, it's better just to use a circular motion. Now at first it's going to, you know, you're going to get a lot of toothpaste, it's going to bind up, but eventually it's going to work its way to the lens. And again, all this stuff, you know, we can, we can wipe all this off. That's not going to be an issue. Um, so just probably a good five minutes. Just take about five minutes and just kind of work it in uh, the best that you can. Uh, you don't need to push down real hard, but you want to give it a little bit of pressure. Um, again, what it's doing right now is it's essentially polishing the lens, uh, believe it or not. Um, I've heard of people doing the same thing for DVDs and CDs and things like that, which you know, I'd rather use a, like an actual system for that. But um, this outer side right here, I'm actually not too concerned about that because it actually sits within the bumper so or the front fascia. So the only thing I'm really concerned about is getting this front piece. There's, there's no light that's going to come out of the side here because, again, it's blocked by the fascia. So after about a minute or so, you'll notice that it's going to start getting more difficult to actually uh, polish this. That means it's just drying out that the... Um, the toothpaste is actually working its way into the lens itself. And so anyway, I'm going to do this for another couple minutes here. And uh, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I spent about 3-4 minutes working on this. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper towel here. And I'm just going to kind of wipe it away. It doesn't matter if the paper towel is dry or not because I'm going to actually repeat the process one more time but I can already see the improvement here oh yeah so I can already see the improvement here I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up but a lot of the fine scratches are gone completely you know there's some big ones that are still left in here those I'm probably not going to be able to get out because they're pretty deep but that definitely looks a lot clearer than it did before again there's some big you can see there's some big sized scratches that are still here and there's actually scratches on the inside as well so those I won't be able to get for sure, but it actually does look a lot better than it did. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do another coat, work on it for another couple minutes, and then uh, I'll come back to it. Okay, so the one here on the left is the one that I have not restored yet or haven't worked on at all. And you can see it's pretty cloudy and it's pretty dirty. I did clean it up and then you can see the one here on the right. Now what you're seeing here, I know the camera can see that, you see these little fine kind of particles. You can barely see them head on but you can see them at an angle when the light is at just the right point. Those are deep gouges that are in the headlamp itself. You might be able to see that better now if you're looking at that washcloth up there. Those are deep gouges some of them are on the inside. What ended up happening with this particular lens is my LED fell out. I have a video of that. 
so it was rattling around in here so it did put some scratches on there that I don't have on this side here so this one actually might clean up a little bit better but these scratches that are here this feels really smooth they're just fine gouges that over time have happened unfortunately it's not something you can really do about it there is no light restoration or headlamp lens restoration kit that can take out the really deep ones now you could probably do a better job if you had a buffing wheel and you were working on this for a while it would probably do a better job but it's definitely a big difference you can see how cloudy this one is compared to this one so it's a big difference between the two but again it all depends on how much money and the tools you have to actually put into this but this is probably the cheapest way to do it it's not going to make them look brand new but it's going to do a really good job uh, in my opinion and you know it was a couple of bucks for the washcloths and a dollar for the toothpaste and I spent probably about 10 minutes on that one so yeah it's better than in my opinion spending forty dollars on basically what is the same thing in my opinion um, and I think it cleaned up uh, fairly good uh, you know probably getting new lenses would be the best deal if you're looking for something that was going to be totally clear but again when you're looking at these head-on especially when you have super bright bulbs coming out you're not really going to notice it uh, those little fine uh, gouges that are in the uh, lens so alright folks if you have any questions definitely let me know I'm gonna go ahead and work on this one here and get that one cleaned up and then I'll get to the installation so uh, if you have any questions again let me know take care